August 16, 20th Sunday in Ordinary Time A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew At that time, Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon And behold, a Canaanite woman of that district came and called out Have pity on me, Lord, son of David My daughter is tormented by a demon But Jesus did not say a word in answer to her His disciples came and asked him, Send her away, for she keeps calling out after us. He said in reply, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But the woman came and did him homage, saying, Lord, help me. He said in reply, It is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. She said, Please, Lord, for even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the table of their masters. Then Jesus said to her in reply, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And the woman's daughter was healed from that hour. The Gospel of the Lord God's Mercy for All The book of Isaiah contains a prophecy considered not only unpalatable to the Jews but downright repugnant. The prophecy speaks about foreigners entering the house of the Lord that will be called a house of prayer for all peoples. Foreigners will become servants of God and they will minister to the Lord in the holy temple bringing burnt offerings and sacrifices on God's altar. Worst of all, the offerings of the pagans will be deemed acceptable to the Lord. Every Jew cringes at the thought that God's holy temple will be defiled by the presence of these pagans, whom the Jews have always considered as sinful and unclean. The Jews have long believed that salvation is meant for the people of Israel alone by the mere fact that they are descendants of Abraham and that the only place possible for the pagans after death is hell. Jesus in the Gospel travels on foot around the pagan territories of Tyre and Sidon. Jews consider this region enemy territory and Jesus must think that by taking this route, He will avoid the harassment of the religious authorities. Maybe he also wants to enjoy some private time with his apostles. A Canaanite woman recognizes Jesus and she pleads healing for her daughter who is tormented by a demon. Have pity on me, Lord, son of David. There is a deadpan reaction from Jesus on the part of the apostles afflicted with ethnic superiority. The reaction is swift. Send her away. The mother continues to plead for her sick daughter, but Jesus rebuffs her, saying that he has been sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Another plea comes, and Jesus tells the woman to her face that food meant for children must be thrown to the dogs. The woman acknowledges the truth, that in the eyes of the Jews, she is a dog. But, she says, she can manage with the scraps falling from the master's table. Jesus praises the woman for her great faith. She persists in her plea to the Lord and does not give up. Her love for her sick daughter, a mother's love, is one of the purest forms of love on earth that can move mountains. She does not have to wrench from the heart of Jesus the healing of her daughter. Jesus, we may say, puts the faith of the pagan woman to test. He engages her teeth for tat, and she wins Jesus over by her persistence and humility. She knows that her being a pagan entails. She does not scream herself hoarse demanding justice or human rights. 
she simply begs and pleads with Jesus and admits that before him she is truly nobody and that the recovery of her sick daughter depends on the mercy of God alone.